Hey there, this is TJR, and I want to take a moment to talk about something that's really important here. In this world of entertainment and media, we have a thing called copyright, and we have a thing called fair use. Now, I want to start off by saying that I do respect copyright because I'm a songwriter. Uh, if I write a song, I own that copyright. Uh, I don't want someone pirating my song without my permission. I don't want someone distributing my song, which is the same as pirating it, without my permission. Um, I don't want someone trying to make money off my song without consulting with me first. It's my right. I own the copyright to what I've created. Uh, but we have another thing in this world that's called fair use, which means if you want to review my song, you have a right to do that. Even if your review of my song is a negative one, you have a right to do that. You have a right to publish that review on the internet. If in your review you want to show a picture of the album art of my music, you have a right to do that because you're reviewing it. If during that review you want to play a little clip of the song, 30 second sample, you have a right to do that. That all falls within fair use. Fair use lets you use other copyrighted material for purposes of review, journalism, and education. Um, this is all within the law. And yet, videos are being taken down, channels are being removed from YouTube uh, under false copyright claims. Any company can file a copyright claim against you. If you're a YouTube content creator like myself, any company can file a copyright claim against you without impunity. It doesn't matter if you are legally within your rights. It doesn't matter if what you did was fair use. You can still have your video taken down. You can still possibly lose your channel. And there is no penalty to the uh, company that has done this false copyright claim. A while back, I had a previous YouTube channel. I had a video taken down and I had my entire channel taken down because of an original song that I wrote. Yes, believe it or not, I, I got a copyright strike for an original song that I wrote myself. Hard to believe, huh? Well, not with Google YouTube and not with their current system. Um, what had happened is I wrote a song that satirized the American Idol TV show. The song was called American Idol. And um, the company, the media giant that owns the American Idol TV show had said it violated their copyright they had my, my video taken down, they had my channel taken down. You know, you can't copyright the title of the song, and you are allowed to have an opinion in this country last time I looked. This is why it's such a, it's, this is such a dangerous, horrible thing uh, when you can't express an opinion on YouTube. But I'm not the only one. There recently have been a lot of content creators uh, who have had channels taken down, had videos removed, had their monetization removed, and many of them high profile. Uh, channels with tons of subscribers. We're talking tens of thousands to millions of subscribers. These channels earn a huge amount of money for YouTube and these channel creators earn money as well from YouTube too. And um, they had their channels taken down or their monetization taken away or sometimes both. Um, these channels tried very hard to go through YouTube's appeal system which is tremendously frustrating because there's no human interface with that and YouTube and Google did nothing for weeks. Finally, a lot of them went public and made videos about it. And then finally something was done, but that's what it took to get Google YouTube to do something. And so as a result, a lot of these high profile content creators have banded together and they're forming a movement called WTFU, Where's the Fair Use? Hashtag WTFU, Where's the Fair Use? And um, I'm going to put a link here to the video by, uh, from Channel Awesome uh, from Nostalgia Critic, whose channel I enjoy a great deal. Um, but he released a great video that I think explains it much better than I can. I encourage you to watch this video. And I encourage you to help spread the word. Um, where's the fair use? You know, recently I did a video where I described the differences between Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven and the song uh, uh, Taurus by Spirit. And in that video, I played a few bits of Stairway to Heaven. And a lot of people have really appreciated the video. I did this for educational purposes. And yet, that video could be taken down. Uh, the company that owns the publishing rights to either song could suddenly swoop in and send a copyright strike against me to YouTube, Google, 
YouTube, Google would just take it down. They wouldn't even bother to have a person look at my video to see if I was actually violating copyright. They just simply do it because it's all automated. And even if I could appeal and prove my innocence, um, the company that did it faces no penalties, nothing. And I think this is one of the major things that's wrong. What needs to happen with Google YouTube, there needs to be a human interface. There needs to be a human uh, intermediary that will check out copyright claims to see if they're valid. Then there also needs to be punishment and penalties for companies and individuals that file false copyright claims. And uh, so it's, it's absolute madness right now. With Google YouTube, you are guilty until proven innocent. If you weren't aware of this previously, I hope this video helps you and spread the word and join the movement. Uh, where's the fair use? Come on YouTube, come on Google, where's the fair use? Anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.